Today we're going to be talking about a YouTuber named Feature Man that has been exposed for being a keyword. Feature Man is a YouTuber with 412,000 subscribers, and he would post videos of him eating things like watermelons, pizzas, TV dinners. People saw him as a friendly old guy you could sit down with and have a meal and listen to him tell you stories while you were enjoying your meal or have him on in the background while you're doing something else. It was wholesome, relaxing content until people found out the truth. Tom Willett was even an actor. I say actor, but he was more of a extra. And if you've ever done extra work, you know it's not hard to become an extra. You pretty much just sign up and then you go do the job. But he did a lot of extra work. If you were looking close enough in some of these older movies, you would see him as an extra in the background. For example, like in Grease 2. And in over 90 other movies and shows. Now, he must have felt pretty confident in this endeavor in Hollywood and felt like maybe it was going somewhere. He must have been making the big money. Because he went as far as even to make his own website. He made a website called MyHollywoodStar.com where he would give people advice on how to make it in Hollywood. Leave the safe zone, take a gamble, you will be able to make it in the jungle that is the world of entertainment. I think you went a little too far into the jungle, buddy. You know that jungle I'm talking about that we all hear about in Hollywood where a lot of the P words hang out? I think that's the jungle he went into. But he goes on to talk about Hollywood and how he made it in Hollywood as an extra. Which again, isn't that big of a deal to me, I thought. I mean, I've done extra work before and it was pretty easy. You just apply and go do the job and kind of just sit around for... 10 plus hours doing nothing. But his big acting career wasn't the only thing he did. He also gave some financial tutorials, suggesting that for beginning investors, I recommend studying stocks and funds at sites like Yahoo Finance and Google Finance. And you'll notice here that this video is unavailable. This video is privated. Well, it turns out he removed pretty much all of his videos. I was looking at this yesterday and he didn't even have these up. So it looks like he re-uploaded a few after maybe watching them through and making sure he didn't say anything wrong. But according to this article that was posted on August 16th, 2012, he had over 400 videos, where now he only has 28. Now, a man that has done no wrong and has nothing to hide, why remove so many videos? What are you scared of? Well, the truth is, is that he did do wrong and he couldn't contain it. In fact, he wanted to brag about getting away with it. So he released a video of him talking about his jailhouse adventures and what he did to get the law changed and once this video was released it caused a lot of people to start digging into his past and seeking out to see what exactly he was talking about news articles were found explaining exactly what he did guilty as charged thomas willett is pictured during the last hours of freedom wednesday as he enters district court for the conclusion of his trial on three charges stemming from homosexual assaults on a resident of child haven willett was convicted his bail was revoked and he was jailed ex-juvenile worker guilty a district court jury of six men and six women deliberated less than an hour wednesday before finding a former juvenile court volunteer worker guilty of three counts of infamous crime against nature stemming from homosexual assaults on a 14 year old resident of child haven his victim who is now 18 years old said will assaulted him on three occasions in november and december of 1973 as a volunteer worker, Willett had the authority to check boys in and out of Child Haven. It says, we stayed in there a while and then he told me to take my pants down, said the teenager to the jury. After the boys' pants were down, Willett committed an unnatural act, according to testimony. The lad said Willett became a volunteer worker shortly after that and as such had the authority to check him out of Child Haven from time to time. So he was in the ultimate position to where he had ultimate authority over this child to be able to do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. Thomas Willett is accused of having unnatural relations three times in November and December of 1973 with a 14-year-old boy to whose case he had been assigned. Another article says a 25-year-old piano teacher who alleged took a 15-year-old youth out of juvenile home and assaulted him it was ordered to stand trial Monday in district court. According to police reports, Willett, because of his occupation, had the authority to remove boys from juvenile hall and take them to his home for piano lessons. The alleged victim said Willett assaulted him at his home December 29th, 1973. So according to these newspaper articles, I think it's pretty evident that he was taking advantage of his situation, having ease of access to these young children 
taking him back to his home using the piano lessons as a cover and doing unspeakable acts to them. The video that caused all of this called My Jailhouse Adventures recommended for adults only, Future Man slash Tom Willett re-upload. Now this is a re-upload because of course he took it down once all the comments of what he had done started rolling in. And the sentence was life in prison. And the sentence was life in prison. Three. Three lives in prison. Yes, that's right. He was sent to life in prison three times over. According to this case law, the jury found Thomas Willett guilty of three counts of violation of NRS 201.190, the infamous crimes against nature. Now, what the heck? What does that even mean, you may ask? A person who incites, entices, or solicits a minor to engage in acts which constitute the infamous crime against nature. As used in this section, the infamous crime against nature means all of this. Now, back in 1977, same activity was illegal in many states. Now, when it comes to LGBTQ+, there's nothing wrong with that. I support all of it. it do what you want to do. Now, the problem here isn't that he's gay. It's that he did things with minor and left it out of the video. Strategically chose words that led you astray and pointed away from the main issue here and that he did things with minors one of the main things to focus here with this law is that the minor was less than 14 of age is guilty of a category a felony and shall be punished by imprisonment in the state for life with possibility of parole now doesn't that sound familiar to his case and then if you go back to the willet versus state it actually goes on to explain everything that happened the record shows that in November 1973, while playing in a musical group, volunteered to entertain the children at Child Haven in Las Vegas, there he met the of this crime, a minor boy. He went with the boy to his room to introduce him to the guitar, but the session ended in the first of several acts of oral copulation on the minor. During the same month, he visited the Eddie Lee home for boys in Clark County. There he met a minor boy who testified that while the defendant, a volunteer worker, was helping us set up for Christmas, the defendant performed an act of oral copulation upon the young man. So from the looks of it, he was actively seeking out places where he could have ease of access to these children. The infamous crime, without an S on the end, it's a singular uh, event that uh, is illegal. The infamous crime against nature. I was uh, charged with that and what it is, anything that they want it to be, and I'm talking about the prosecution, the district attorney's office, uh, if a police officer didn't like you, they could uh, charge you with infamous crime against nature. If you had any sort of contact with anyone other than uh, a man and a woman who are married to each other. Anything else was considered an infamous crime against nature. And without getting into details, I will say that uh, there was a trial and the witness against me, and he was over 18 years of age. How weird is it to state that the witness, he was, eight, he was over 18 years of the age. I just want to get that out there. It's, I don't want anybody to think he's under the age of 18. Now it's clear here he's using selective vocabulary in order to hide what he's actually done. He doesn't want people to find out, but unfortunately for him, the internet <laughs> knows how to uh, find dirt on you if you've done something wrong. Also, I want to say it's weird that he even uploaded this in the first place. I'm trying to think of about why he did it. And to me, it's, it goes back to like when people do horrible things and they have to let people know that they got away with it or hey it was me i did this look at me i'm so cool like the mindset behind these disgusting people is very strange and how they have to feel like they need to be seen and noticed for these things they've done these horrible things they've done but you can really see here that he's focusing on it has to be a relationship between a man and a woman that are married and anything outside of that, uh, you can get in trouble for. And he's insinuating that he really didn't do anything wrong here. I just had a relationship with someone that I wasn't married with. And he's trying to hide the fact that he did do something wrong. Then he said, before even 10 seconds had gone by, after he 
announced the sentencing, he said, this sentence is suspended, meaning I would not be going to prison. Well, apparently, I'm assuming he made some connections while he was in Hollywood and got a little bit of help to get him out of this situation. And on the way there, the guard said, you must have some uh, very powerful friends. I said, what do you mean? He said, the, the governor, the governor of Nevada, arranged the visit. Uh, he got a call from the governor's office and uh, the visit is going to take place. It's not in the law of Nevada. The, the law of Nevada said when a person commits the infamous crime against nature, they shall be uh, sentenced to prison for life. That's the only th and there was no description of what a infamous crime against nature was. Anyway, anyway, anyway. There was no description of what the infamous law was. I think that uh, there was a description actually. In fact, if we go back to Willett versus State, it, it shows pretty clearly what you did. Uh, is there anyone else out there who's got 45 years of a clean record and uh, I haven't uh, sneezed in public or anything? I mean, let's uh, be sensible about this. Well, if you really want to know, one in three U.S. adults holds a criminal record. So, yeah, there is people out there that do have a clean record. Go figure. I can't believe it. I like how his argument is that uh, there's nobody out there that is good. Everybody has done bad. Everyone has done something wrong. Everyone's, the law has gotten everyone. <laughs> Everything happened because I happened to have some friends and because things went well for me. I've had a good life, so. I thank you very much for watching. Well, this man must have had some very powerful friends in the Hollywood industry because he got out scot-free uh, on being a P-word. And if you thought things couldn't get weirder, I found this website that Future Man owns. How do I know that? It says here, all content on this site is copyright 1999-2000-2001, Tom Willett. And on this website, he has some creepy fantasy stories of young men. Here's a list of the fantasy stories he has written. The story specifically, Nerdy's Last Week of High School, says the story has a mix among high school students with humor. As well, it has his favorite links. Now, I'm not going to click on any of these, but we can read the description here. And it says, a site which features some people's names and many other European boy models. A site which usually has over 100 webcams operating 30 chat rooms. Chat room 8 is the chat. This is a site with lots of free pics of guys. This is a collection of very old photos of mostly young guys, some were attractive. A site which has a membership area and a preview area. The preview area is free and has a lot of photos of young guys. The point here is that he emphasizes a lot on young guys, which further supports the fact that he did do these things and how he got away with it. Well, apparently he found a loophole because they had a witness that wasn't from the case. The lawyers were able to make a defense saying that because this witness wasn't from the current case, that none of the evidence could be supported during this case. And so he went to jail for what, a year, a year and got like five years of probation. Hey, I know you're about to go watch another video. So go watch this one, the most harmful TikTok challenges. Hope that video informed you in some way. If there are some topics you would like for me to cover and raise awareness on, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, let me know in the comments as well. Also, if you'd like to support more content like this and have your name at the end of my videos, check out my Patreon, see if it's something you'd be interested in. And if you'd like to talk to me live about some of these topics or just hang out and chill, check me out on Facebook. I go live on Facebook at 6 p.m. EST every day. You have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. You're a love, love, Thank you.